All right, so here, here's the deck. I shuffled it all up. So let's see what the first couple turns might look like. Three, four, whoops, five, six, seven. Okay. <laughs> oh man, right off the bat, look at that. Let's see here. Got the Balefire Liege, one planes, Rally the Righteous, Angel's Feather. Sky Knight Legionnaire, Boros Fury Shield, Sky Knight Legionnaire. Okay, so not a lot of land. Well, let's see what happens anyway. So I play a Planes, and then my turn would end. Next guy we go. Oh, Lightning Helix. Oh, great. I have Lightning Helix. So, let's see. You know, I'm just going to keep it like that. So I play a Planes, Lightning Helix. So now I back up to seven cards. Next, next turn, All right, there's a Mountain. Now, I'll probably play first... The Angel's Feather. Now playing against Ian, I'd probably be playing against his black deck, and I know that he would have just his um, his. He would just probably have a horror out by now, if anything, or a Dwathi horror, Dwathi Claire. So next turn. So now he'd probably attack with it. Okay. There's an. I got another Lightning Helix. So this is actually not too bad. So I'd probably untap that, and I could play Hot Lightning Helix on that Dwathi Har or whatever that he had out, kill it, and gain three life. So that's great. Uh, let's see what else. Hopefully you can see all this. Can you see all of that? All right, what do I have now? I have Double Cleave. It doesn't really help me all too much, but I'm still up to seven cards, so. Uh, next turn. Oy, gosh. All right. Kind of... Don't have a lot of mana. I'm kind of getting mana screwed here. Luckily, I have another double helix, lightning helix that I can play. So I get deal three damage to Ian and gain three life. So all right, here we go. Just, you know, just leave a tap. There we go. So there's my Sky Knight Legion there, and now it can all come into play. So what was this turn five ish? Something like that. And I just gained a life from playing that. Oh, here's another mountain. Great. So now I play. Another Sky Knight Legionnaire. Put back out. Okay, here we go. Play double, oh, not double cleave, whoops. Scourge of the Nebulous on either one. And it's both red and white, so it's pumpable. Gets plus two, plus two, and has lifelink. So now it's a 4-4 four, four, pumpable. Okay, so... That's that, and I could have attacked. Oh, there's another Scourge of the Nebulous. So I'll play that, was this, turn 8-ish? Something like that. Now I can attack, I'll deal 8 damage. And in fact, yeah, so 8 damage right there. So that's not too bad. Um, I also have 2 Double Cleaves, so if I wanted to, right now, oh, here's the Planes. So I could either play Balefire Liege, or I could just end the game and play, pay 2 mana. For each, do a double cleave on both of them. So now I deal. Oh wait, yeah. So now I deal 16 damage, which would end the game. That's like what turn 10 ish, something like that. 10 ish, plus or minus one. Okay, so that's the deck. I think that turned out actually okay. I mean, I had a little, had a little trouble in the beginning with the mana, but hopefully that won't happen all the time. And, uh, you know, I got, you know, I never had to discard any cards, which was good. I had all my Lightning Helixes. I was gaining life for every spell I played. So, there's a lot of synergy going on. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of synergy with these things. Rally of the Righteous is good. Um, you know, just let me know what you think. I think this has a, it seems like it has a lot of potential. And, I mean, I wouldn't, I would not knock this deck. I think I'm going to have to get it. Uh, you know what? Let's just do one more draw. Let's do one more draw. I think we have time. That one only took four minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Here we go. I got Dragon's Claw, Plains, A Trace of Abundance, Spite Mare Forest, Balefire Legion, a Ridgetop Raptor. Oh, the Ridgetop Raptor. Oh, I love you. All right, so let's just say it's my turn first. Play Planes. Next turn. Now I'll play a Forest. Tap, tap. 
I'll play a Trace of Abundance, basically the Fertile Grounds on my Forest. Good thing that Forest came into play. Next turn, I'll play Dragon's Claw. Well, I'll just have to tap that. Dragon's Claw. Whenever I play a red spell, I'm going to gain a life. Next turn. Oh, look, another Dragon's Claw. Well, might as well play it. So that's what, turn four? Next turn. We can play Plains. Now I'll play... Hmm. Let's play Ridgetop Raptor for fun. So I gain two life for that. Play another Plains. Now I'll play Balefire Liege. I can probably attack for four or less or whatever. But if he's only got Dwath... Well, actually, no, because Dwathies are shadows, so... I'm just trying to assume what he would be playing. I don't think Ian has a lot of quick fire stuff with his um, black deck. A lot, a lot of it is black. His black chaos deck is a lot of. He's got Scions, Visaras, Nightmares. He's Zangar, Sangars. He's got a lot of, you know, stuff that takes him a, a, a quite a while to to get out. So the only real re threat I would have would be the quick shadow, quick strikes, or if the game starts to drag on really long, at which point. I'd be kind of, you know, not very good for me. But that's what the point of this deck is, too. And, you know, eight turns in really isn't so bad, I don't think. Um, so I guess I'll just play this forest. I mean, I could play, you know, that and three of these. And I can play a spite mare, which gives me two more life. And then if I want to, I could play a lightning helix. Um... Not you know tapping them all at once and using them truly well like helix which gives me another two life, so um, then I you know, keep attacking attacking. I think this will actually turn out pretty well this deck. Um, yes, the the the, uh, the cards are all printed in gray. The uh, you know I didn't want to waste ink so I printed them quick draft so the writing is rather faint and also in gray. So. That's my deck. I call it Burning Pride. Maybe. I don't know. I have to work on the name. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. And hopefully I'll get these cards in a little bit. I'll have to check out my hobby store and I'll check what the online sells them for. Thanks a lot.